he's coming with he really wanted to come to the appointment but here's the fit um, for my one week post-op appointment and they texted me this morning and they were like we know it doesn't seem like a crazy accomplishment but we're so proud of you for getting to one week post-op and yeah it's hard shit but we're one week so hopefully we get like approved to go back for the most part i mean i think i'm fine i don't think they're gonna find anything wrong with me because i feel fine right now i'm just still like sore so i think i'll be fine let's hope um but yeah so we're gonna go to the appointment and then i have my massage after and today marks my sixth massage sixth or seventh I think it is my seventh massage, so I only have two or three more three, massages I left. Think nine. Yeah, we got nine. So, but yeah, this is the first day I've actually worn a top, only because I just felt like I should. And the lighting is so bad. There's like, it's coming from all different ways. But yeah, let's go to the doctor's office. Okay, so we made it. So we're gonna go inside. Everyone's yeah, yeah, coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, and I'm nervous. I don't even know why, because I'm literally just, it's just my one week post op. Here we go. Here we go, huh? Are you excited for me? I'm very excited. I don't know if she was my nurse before. I think it's a different one today, but we're gonna get dressed, okay? You guys can see this part because I have shorts under. Um, but everything looks good on my vitals, so we're doing great, okay? Getting this fall haul back in the on is a lot, but see you soon. Really good. Okay, so I'm out. The before and afters are crazy. The Johns are crazy. Do I look amazing? Duh. Duh. But anyways, um, everything went well. She said that I'm like the perfect patient because I do everything I'm supposed to. So that was a good sign. Um, I'm going to put you guys there so I can get in the car. But only one of my incisions is like a little open still. Why am I blurry? Um... She said after six weeks, if I choose to not wear my faja as much, it's kind of just up to me. She said 12 hours. But a day. yeah, they advise 12. 12 hours a day. But for the first six weeks, there's really no reason why I should not be wearing it. I'm just gonna mess up my results. So it looks like I have this bad boy on for five more weeks, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So enjoy seeing it. Cause it's all you're gonna see. But when summer comes around, don't worry. You'll, you'll be seeing the results, okay? But, yeah. Other than that, everything looks good. She said I'm still pretty, like, bruised and swollen, but that's normal because I'm literally only a week. So, she said not to take ibuprofen and then the Arnica, which I've been slacking taking my Arnica, so that's probably why. But Oh, and you haven't eaten pineapple in, a, mm -hmm. in two days. But anyways... Other than that, she said I'm good to start. I don't, she doesn't want me to like run or like go on a treadmill or things like that, but I am good to start going on walks. So that's like a good exercise for me to do right now. So that way I can still get like my body moving, but not overdoing it. And then obviously not picking anything up over five pounds since the arm lipo and just things like that. But other than that, it went good. So now we're going to go home and... I'll get ready for my massage and then I think after my massage I'm gonna take a shower because I just have to take a shower after my massage because I hate all the oil on me um, and then I think I'm gonna go to the piercing shop to finally put my ear piercings back in because I still have my surgical ones in and I miss having earrings so I think we're gonna go to the uh, tattoo shop after but anyways I'll take you guys with me so Bye. Okay, I literally look crazy right now because my hair is freaking pulled back out. Oh, you can do my hair tie back. Okay, so 
I still have my um, earlobe ones in because I'm just going to do that myself because I didn't feel like making him do all that and like putting all my hoops in and stuff. Um, but I ended up changing out my tragus. I've been thinking about it for a while because I was kind of over the hoop. So I just went ahead and changed that out anyways. But we got that done. And I still have about an hour and a half until my massage. So we might go to the store. Yeah, I can go to a Target over here. We I shall just realized. see. I'm trying to get more sweatpants because like I don't really have a lot of sweatpants that are like comfortable and like oversized on my legs except for these gray ones that I wear all the time um, because I just I don't know I don't really fit in a lot of my old sweatpants my they don't go over my butt anymore so um, <laughs> so these are really the only ones that fit and sweatpants are probably the easiest and most comfortable thing to wear with your faja so if you are getting lipo and you're gonna have to be stuck in your faja for six weeks mandatory get a lot of sweatpants because i'm telling you i tried to put on shorts earlier and it was so uncomfortable because it, it just like feels weird but a nice baggy pant with it Ooh. feels great so anyways we're gonna go to target now okay so we receive a question um how do you find the right pressure not to hurt your client, but also relieve the drainage. Uh, how painful it is getting a massage right after surgery. Okay, so the body just went through a lot of trauma after a liposuction because you have to have a consideration about what kind of surgery are you having. Are you having a liposuction only or are you also having a tummy tuck? With tummy tuck, it's completely different because usually the doctor leave a drainage on some tooth. So you will drain through for a week, sometimes between 7 to 15 days, you will be dra um, draining through the tooth. And then uh, the doctor will remove uh, the drainage and then practically your body goes through a process and you will feel very bloated with a lot of inflammation and then every start setting it down. Um, with, li with liposuction, the incision is open. So what we do is we do a very light massage. It looks like it is very deep, but it's not. It's very light, but you're still gonna feel a little pain because the body just went through a lot of trauma. Um, the body, it will tell the massage therapist how deep we can go. Um, there is a difference between lipos, um, there is the difference between uh, lymphatic drainage massage and post-surgery massage. The lymphatic drainage massage is more like a wave. Uh, we actually target the lymphatic node and it's like a wave uh, movement that we create in order to flush a, a fluid toward the lymphatic system. But when we are draining, especially 24 hours after a surgery, we have to do more aflorage. Target the lymphatic, the lymphatic system, the lymphatic nodes, but also flush the fluid that is in between the muscle and the skin toward where the incision is. We, sometimes we press a little bit close the incision in order to the fluid to come out, but most of the time we're trying to do everything very light. We never reopen. When the incision is closed, it's closed. We never reopen an incision. <laughs> okay, so we have another question. It said, is the pain similar to something like a BBL? Well, in order for you to get a BBL, actually, the doctor has to do a liposuction in in any other area of your body in order to extract that fat and apply it to your gluteal area in order for you to have the BBL. So yes, the BBL is painful. Any cosmetic, any plastic surgery, it, it takes time and it has their process of healing. And what I notice with most clients that I've been seeing for many years is that when they have a BBL, the lower back is what it bothers them the most. 
the lower back because they cannot sit for between it depends on the doctor also sometimes the doctor would tell them you cannot sit for three weeks other doctors said you cannot sit for eight weeks so you have to always follow doctor instruction and sometimes because you're sleeping on your stomach, most of the time people that get the BBL, they get the liposuction on, on their abdomen or it calls a uh, liposuction 360 that is their back and all the abdomen, the front part of their body. They extract the fat, they put it in the gluteal area and then you have to go through the process no matter what. Um, so it, it takes a little bit, it is painful, if someone tells you that it's not painful, they're lying. I'm sorry to say it that way, but it takes, but it's manageable because you are under the supervision of the doctors and nurses, and also they give you pain medication and the appropriate medication that you need in order to heal properly. Okay, we have another question that said, how much do the massage last and how many massages do you have to get? It depends of the person how many massages you need to get because everybody's genes is different. I recently have a client that she only, she, she, it was two weeks after surgery, she only needed six sessions and she had no inflammation whatsoever. But she is a very slim person so um, she recuperated very quick. When you prepare yourself and you work out and you hydrate your body before surgery, the healing process is way faster. Now, how long a massage lasts? If the massage therapist is not using any machine, the good amount is 60 minutes, okay? Between 45 to 60 minutes. I particularly like to massage for 60 minutes because I wanna make sure that the body will tell me, okay, this is the point that I wanted to see how the body and the muscles relax, how the inflammation is going down. So it takes time. It depends where you go and get your massages. They use, most of the time, they use let's say 60% of the time they use machine and they just do 10 minute massage and that's it. So always choose a massage therapist that actually use their hands, especially the first two weeks. Okay, so someone asked, what is the point of the massage? Okay, so there is a lot of doctors, believe it or not, they do not believe in massages. But I'm gonna tell you right now, the massage is super important to have after surgery. I have clients that the doctor never recommend them to have massages. Two weeks later, no kidding, their back was like a huge blister full of fluid because the incision already closed and they never drain that fluid out of their body. And they called me and said, I need to take this fluid out. At that point, that was out of my scoop of practice. I told her, you have to go to the ER. They will drain you with a syringe or because not even the doctor will reopen any incision. When it's closed, it's closed because then can get infected and major uh, situation can occur. So at this point, the only way if you don't get massages um, and you your body hold fluid inside, you probably, your body's gonna develop some um, seroma. Seroma is like a, a blister, a back of fluid under the skin and we cannot break it with the finger. Is you will have to go to a doctor's office and get drained with a syringe. Okay, so we have a question that said, what are the pros and cons of a young patient? It is a big, big difference between a young patient and a person who is in their 50 or 60, even 67. Um, women that are young, usually patients that are young, usually heal very quick because you're young. Your, your body heal very quick and everything. It depends, always depends how um, overweight you are as a patient, even if you're young or older. If you are a little bit overweight and you didn't want to work out, you don't want to hydrate yourself and everything like that, so your body is going to take longer to heal. 
but if you're a person that you said, okay, I'm gonna commit myself to, I have three months before my surgery is, yeah, you know, is getting there. Um, at that point, you have three months to work out, drink lots of water. You wanna know how much water you should be drinking, depend on your weight. You have to um, weigh yourself, divided by two, and the, the, the result, you will have to drink in, in ounces of water. So that's what you need to do. Um, if your body is dehydrated, uh, your body, if you have a liposuction and your body is dehydrated, even if you have that fluid in between your skin and your muscle and you wanna get rid of, the body would not release that fluid because it's already dehydrated, believe it or not. It happens so many times. And the moment that I see the, the patient is dehydrated, I have to tell them um, and start drinking water so the body will eliminate the unwanted fluid that is in your body. Um, uh, people that, are, that have more age, because their age usually they have more health issues so it can get complicated even through a surgery the anesthesia can get um complicated anything can i'm not a doctor but what i see with my my clients regularly is that the healthier you are the better you're gonna heal as simple as it is so it is a big difference uh, between young patients and not elderly, but you know, uh, more uh, with more age patients. Okay, so now I want to talk a little bit about. Um, no one asked this question, but I noticed that there are a lot of people that don't understand the importance not to use any machine while you are just after surgery. You have to wait. Uh, six weeks at least in order for you to start using machine um, especially the cavitation machine I want to explain this to you please never use cavitation machine while you are healing especially when you still have fluid in your body because the cavitation machine what it does is it send heat wave in your inside your body and imagine the heat wave that is in your body is boiling the fluid that is inside. So even though you're not gonna feel it on the outside, on your skin, and, and the inside is doing so much damage that you cannot even imagine. So some massage therapists do not understand that, that is a big no-no. And if you wanna make 100% sure what you can do in order to alleviate the inflammation in your body, ask your doctor. Ask them, communicate with your nurses or your doctors and ask them, hey, is that okay if I go to a massage therapist and she use machines? And wait and see what the doctors will tell you. But I seen crazy things happening with people that use the cavitation machine for the cavitation treatment. That is a big no-no. Please don't do it because the healing process is going to take way longer on the inside. Okay, that's what I just wanted to uh, point it out because i seen a lot of YouTube and TikTok videos that people getting off 24 hours after their surgery and they using the cavitation machine. That is the worst things that you can do just for you to know, okay? Okay, so I went to Pink and I got some more sweatpants. So I'm gonna show you guys. The first one is these ones and they have like these flowers on the side. It's like their spring collection. Um, and then I got, I think these are kind of similar to the ones I'm wearing now. They just have pink and cursive and it's like a pink color, which they're just comfy. And then we have these little like brown. <gasps> Ow! Oh my gosh, Corey, your nail. That hurt so bad. Oh my God. No, 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 you can't climb on me. Okay. Okay, what is, what is going on right now? And this one too. Um. No, no, no. Well, I'll see you soon. 
why does my camera take so long to focus? Okay, so I'm actually sitting on the couch right now. But we went to Publix and um, got some groceries. So that was nice. Um, but I actually, when we were out earlier running errands, I'm supposed to, if you like have had lymphatic massages, there's two things you're supposed to do. You're supposed to take Tylenol or a painkiller and you're also supposed to eat something so you don't get lightheaded so my massage therapist always wants to make sure that i eat before but i was running late so i went by a tropical smoothie and i was like oh like a green smoothie sounds really good they're detox smoothie so i went in there and then i also got like something from there like a chicken thing and you i don't know why i was thinking like oh it won't be that high in sodium like it'll be fine like this is the first time I've ate out since the surgery. Like I've been eating at home. No, biggest mistake. I can't. I couldn't even get my faha on. Besides the first row, and you can see my skin through it. This morning, I could get my faha on to the third row. So yeah, the sodium is so crazy when you eat out versus at home. It's just crazy how much sodium is in it. And I thought Tropical Smoothie was like, you know, like, maybe I'm just stupid. I thought they had, like, cleaner options, but no. But I also, we went on a sunset walk. Yes, it was super nice. But it was a little painful for me today, because um, I'm, like, approved to start going, like, 20 and 30 minutes on walks. walks for now until I get, like, approved at the six-week mark to start, like, working out. But it was very uncomfortable because of how swollen I am. And my massage therapist, she was like, yeah, what did you eat? She was like, yep, that's why. Because I don't know what it is, why the sodium and, like, the salt is so different when you eat somewhere else. Like, I don't know. It's weird. She said to continue eating at home. Yeah. Your food. So, so we're going to do. But here's how we're looking, just sitting here. I think I'm probably going to try and clean up my room a little bit and yeah and also i hope you guys enjoyed i know that you guys had a lot of questions and a lot of people were requesting like questions about the massages so um my massage therapist went ahead and answered some of those while she was doing my massage so that way you guys can just hear some advice from a professional because she knows more than me but yeah bye Anyways, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell. Um, my next video, I'm going to do a Q&A because I know you guys have a lot of questions for me. So leave your questions below and I'll do a little Q&A for you guys probably in like the next day or two. Um, but yeah. One week post-op. Never thought we'd make it here, but we did. Oh, thank you. It's been, it's been a week. The nurse today when she walked in, how have you been? She's like, yeah, it's it's been a week for you, huh? I'm like, yes, it has. But anyways, see you next time.